Okay, so you guys really liked long form videos to be back, so we're gonna do another one. I've got instant ramen. This is my favorite instant ramen, by the way. It's really hard to find it, and when you do, take it. It's got Chef Morimoto on here. It's super good. My Taki shrooms. I've got some roots. And then I've got some beef short rib. So it's gonna be instant ramen done up good, right? So before I get onto this guy, before we get onto these, I'm just gonna prep my veggies for this braise because I'm gonna braise the short ribs. Also, one thing to know about these peelers is they go both ways. Just like your mom, you know? Pretty good little trick. This is a braise, so just big chunks. And some leek as well. You usually wanna cut these guys open. Let me show you. You usually wanna cut them open because they can be muddy, but the ones that I get at Wajimaya are fairly clean, so no need. And the ginger I can just sort of leave whole and not peel it. Thick cast iron pot. Then I use rice oil. A lot of you guys ask me why I use rice oil. I like it because it has a very neutral flavor. You can also use canola oil. If you use olive oil, stuff like that, you're gonna have a lot of that taste in your food. And that's good and all, but that's not what I want. I want a very neutral taste. Short ribs, tossing them in, not seasoning them or anything, just getting some color. Just like that. Getting some color on those guys. The heat is pretty much all the way. This is the color that I'm looking for right here. Nice, dark, golden brown all around. Set those aside. Here's my mirepoix in. Fire alarm. Just gonna add in some sake. And then just bring that flame up. We're now just cooking off the alcohol there of the sake. Then I'll add some stock and we're good to go. So now I just take a generous amount of salt, season that up. Then I have some stock, chicken stock from the freezer. Pour that on in there. Cover this up and we're gonna let this braise for a couple of hours. Okay, so it has been so far 30 minutes. That's what it's looking like right now. Just need a little longer to go. This has been going back here for about three hours. Uh, Michael and I, he's behind the camera right now actually. Uh, we have been filming videos all day, so. This is around three hours is what it took on low heat. Zoom, me zoom. Yep. You want me to take it down? No, that's cool. Now, now I'm just gonna strain the liquid. You can go ahead and blend all this stuff into the liquid if you want. As you can see, this is a juicy, juicy piece of short rib. Okay, so that's ready. I'm gonna set this aside. We're gonna get on to the main event right here. Momo-san Morimoto uh, ramen, instant ramen. This is really good, check it out. So, comes in a little round puck. That's pretty cool. It's 
pretty neat. Pretty neat. And it comes with two packets. We've got the soup base, and then we have this liquid seasoning, which, um, yeah, it's kind of like mis mimicking the tare of a uh, normal ramen. In normal ramen, you have the tare that goes in the bowl, which is just like oil, soy sauce, sake, and then you add in the broth. I like to get hot water and just pour it in. But before I do that, we've got this little oil packet. That's what came in the package. That goes down in there first. And some of the soup base. A little bit of the hot water. Here's some of that short rib braising liquid, why not? Noodles. More hot water. And then I just let this cover for around two minutes. I don't like my noodles in instant ramen or any ramen. I don't like my noodles to be overcooked, so just put the hot water and let them sort of cook off in there for a bit. Here is an instant ramen. I made one for Michael too, because he's here now. Um, but this is just braised short rib with the instant ramen and some maitake mushrooms, some scallions. You could do whatever you want with instant ramen. This is just me showing you guys you can basically turn instant ramen into something a little fancier. And all I did was braise meat and cook mushrooms. And now it's nicer, right? But I mean, also, just this one on its own. If you guys ever find this right here, this brand, it's just really good on its own. Um, so Chef uh, Morimoto, good job. If you're watching this, please come over to my kitchen and make some for me. That'd be great. Uh, but yeah, let's go, go ahead and try this out. You wanna put down the sand and you come try this? <laughs> sure. There we go, you see this is the texture that I like with my noodles. We've got uh, chicken spoons, by the way. I don't know if you guys can see that. Little rooster. You guys know Michael. That's the one filming all my videos. Oh man. Oh yeah. The broth is really good. And I've had this instant ramen broth before, but with this braising liquid, it's really fucking good. Oh, I can even pick up my noodles. Mm. Gotta have chili oil with your ramen. Yes, please. Mm. Mm. Smash like, subscribe.